Hello everybody, this is Wayne again from 101 Animation and somebody had asked me if I would do another tutorial on figure drawing. Um, the last one I did was uh, for beginners and this will be a bit more advanced. Um, I'm going, what I'm going to stress here is uh, to do 30 second gesture drawings in the beginning of this tutorial. It's uh, it's extremely important that uh, you get in the habit of doing it. You, you'll do it for the rest of your life. It's just, it's just, uh, it's how you warm up, it's how you stay fresh, and it's how you capture the, 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 the drama of the pose and whatever the pose might be. You just want to be able to get it down there quickly, your shorthand. So um, then after that, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to show you how to draw out of your head to draw the figure. And it will be the same principle as what I'd shown in the, the first figure drawing tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to slow down a little bit more and get a little more in depth in it but let's start off now with just some uh figure drawing here it will be by the way uh i, I want you to know there's going to be nudity in this if you're sensitive to that uh might not want to watch this it's just figure drawing but there will be uh figures clothed and uh figures that are nude so We'll get started here. Let me get over here, make sure my, that feels all right. Don't forget, let me first start off with this. Remember that cir circles, squ squares right here and triangles. This is the shapes that everything is made up of, but you can exaggerate these shapes. You can make the circle into an oval, the square into a rectangle, the tr triangle into a elongated triangle, and you can use distorted shapes that you make into forms. It's just a reminder of, uh, you know, what I taught in the first one. So let me go here. Uh, we'll get started. This is going to be 18 seconds. So I'm going to have to do this very quickly. Go there, here. And we're not worried about, we're just trying to get the gesture right here. Big shapes. Okay, now we got a little more time. A little foreshortening on this leg. It's coming down that direction, arm right there. Oh, line of action. Shoulders tilted that way. Pinch in the torso. Coming down, center line. Arms were down like so. Line of action. Always make sure to make room for the neck. And even though I didn't have that much time, I got the gesture in there. Gesture of the face. 
neck comes off. Line of action. Stretch on this side, pinch on this side. Okay, we can't see the anatomy here, but we know that underneath this, this leg's in front, comes down, breaks off there. This one came down, far leg, foot. Line of action. Gonna exaggerate that neck coming off. Tilt. Draw the torso, just one long shape like so. Down, down. all the time I have. To get more time, add a little more in there. Do this one real quick. These are just warm ups. We're now trying to. Draw a Raphael here. Don't have the time to put in all the details. And we know what's underneath here. That's what you want to be able to get. gesture of the head coming up like so. Rhythm comes there to there. Look at the legs as one big shape. Arm comes up. Fingers I'll put in. Uh, I'm loading. The swing. Gesture where the legs are coming. Some foreshortening here in the legs. Exaggerate that tilt. Comes in. Arm. Arm. Big sweeping line there. Leg comes out. Foot. Sh 
shoulders way up. You can draw small. Don't worry if you run out of room. So it's coming out towards us. <laughs> Gesture of the face. shortening in this leg right there. For shortening of this. Arm comes. Sweeping line. Let's just go with these rhythms here. And these are the warm-up poses. So a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people forget about doing these warm-up poses and these are very quick. You can see here that proportions are off, but I'm getting, I'm trying to get the action, the drama of what's going on within these poses. And because we have such a short amount of time, which is good, because what it does, it just makes us have to see the big shapes and the big forces, the, the, the feeling of the pose, the attitude of the pose. If you want to go back in, look, I can come back in and just touch these up, but it's, it's not the point of doing gesture drawings, of doing this exercise. The point is to get you to loosen up. To, to, to not worry, to not to, let's say, for instance, if I was drawing this character, you don't want to sit there and get stiff and, and worry and show that you don't know really what the gesture is doing. If you feel the gesture within yourself, it helps to put the gesture down. And what I mean by that is if, if you're stretching out there, you see a pose where a character, if you watch me, if you see the stretch out there, when I'm drawing it in the quick poses and in longer poses, I feel it within myself. Here's a pose that's not very dynamic, but I know that his torso is just coming out like so. And I'm just gonna exaggerate it a bit. And this leg, I'll just put that leg back there, put, put this one here and exaggerate the head down like so. Let me go back to that pose. And right there, now I'll put the arms in, indicate just with, I suggest the hand, the arm, the feet, 
right there. I just suggest it. But the main thing I'm trying to do is just get that feeling in there. Is this like uh, anatomically a correct drawing? No. But is it capturing the, the attitude of the pose? Yes. And then I don't worry about it. And I just do those over and over and over. And then when you go from, let's say, let's go back here, stop, and now I'm going to make it two minute poses, start, and it's going to feel like two hours, <laughs> because when you go, after doing those warm ups, you, you think in the same way. He's swinging out this way, but you can slow down a little bit. Want to get the gesture of the head. We're looking a little bit down upon. Don't slow down a lot. You don't want to, you know, start noodling, but you can slow down and put in however you want to put the torso. My other tutorials, I talked about the different ways to draw you can draw the torso in different ways but right here I know this leg is for shortening a little bit this one I'm gonna just think of the rhythm coming off there and the break right here calf coming there foot's up a little bit and I'm thinking of the rhythms of from this back line going up into the leg there and then shoulders down here I know that the muscles are coming down there and right there and then he's he's got a magazine that he's holding right here and I just got more time so I can realize the drawing a bit more but I'm still I only got two minutes on this so I'm, I'm still not gonna get too caught up in noodling everything and I'll just try to do the best I can within that time frame that I had we'll take this one there's her gesture right there. I'm still keeping my pencil busy. I'm, I'm, but I'm not just putting down lines randomly at this point. I'm feeling the pose, believe it or not, within my body. Even this part of the leg. I'm feeling that swinging around there. This comes out there. We know that it's a twist from there coming up here. Going to use the breasts to indicate that. Comes up to a landmark here, landmark of the belly button, pinch right there, and then the head. The head is going oh the tilt of the head we're looking underneath but I'm not gonna get all anatomical on it now I'm gonna put in the overlapping lines and then the rhythm of shoulder to shoulder comes down like so here I look at this line I'll, I'll draw a rhythm line over there for me to find a landmark to put the hand. Then, if I got time, the feet in. This one's, I'm feeling this foot that is being pushed up more, the heel. And the, and so on so then if you go to do a and if you go to do five minute poses which usually in uh as i remember in the art classes 
we would start off with 30 to 5. Every, all the instructors were different. But you do the exact same process. You just have more time and you know you can slow down. But if I didn't do those 30 second uh, gestural poses from the very beginning, it, I wouldn't be able to capture this with the five minute poses. The reason why is because you're, you're like I keep saying, you're learning this new language, this visual language, and you're initially trying to get the big shapes and gesture in there. And after you do that, when you go to the longer poses, it's going to make it to where you can add, slow down a little bit, add in the details of whatever, uh, you know, anatomically what is in there. I've said this before, I am no anatomy expert. Um, people spend uh, their entire lives studying anatomy and it's just, it is so complex. I just know the, for, for the most part, I just know the main masses, the, the big muscles. And I do go in and I will study, if I want to study the way the calf is exactly, I'll, I'll go to, uh, you know, the, the masters of anatomy and I will study from all of them. Don't think that there's just one way to do it. There's a lot of approaches, but... I work mostly, as you know, in animation, and with that in mind, uh, I'm into drawing quick poses, fast poses. So that's basically my approach to when I'm drawing from the, the reference. But the question is always, you know, how do you do this when, um, you know, you don't have uh, a figure you're having to draw draw things out of your head which is a completely different thing and how you do it is by again drawing those cylinders the boxes and understanding and practicing those um, you know drawing the uh, surface lines like I always talk about let's say for this arm right here uh, Someone who's really a good teacher and draws excellent is uh, Proko, and I, th I think he explains things really well. He calls it, I think he calls it a uh, mannequin uh, structure, and I call it surface lines, but what he means is breaking down, let's say this arm, you break it down into a cylinder like so. And then let's say there was a little bit bend of the forearm coming down. What, he, what he's saying is you put in those surface lines that's going to show the direction of the, the forms, you know, of this arm. I broke it there a little bit, but it shows the direction it's coming out this way and then the forearm is coming out more that way and if you draw a lot of cylinders and boxes this is going to make it much easier when you're putting down these big shapes because you're as you're putting down the shapes you're thinking about forms it just starts to come naturally but if you don't do those 30 second uh, gesture drawings uh, the whole point of the pose and drawing it uh, will be for none because the reason why is if you don't have the gesture in there your drawing is just going to look stagnant and uh, it has no life to it okay so with that in mind um, let's uh, let's go forward with uh, drawing out of your head I believe that was the question that um, someone had asked me. So um, I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger, have a little more room. So from drawing the figure in uh, figure drawing classes, do uh, I 
Again, I say if you can, if you can afford it, go and uh, draw from a live model. Uh, so if you can't afford it, just draw from the reference you can get in um, uh, on the internet. But drawing from the live model, it uh, you can see the forms much better, and it's it's just a, a better uh, you'll get a better understanding of the human figure. And um, so now let's go to if I'm just going to draw out of my head and. Let's because I've done so much figure drawing and it does take time. You, you, you don't expect it to just happen overnight. It's just uh, the more uh, time you put into it, being hours, uh, the quicker you're going to advance. And that for, for most people, that's just the the rule. There are some people who are just you know naturally really gifted at it. I haven't met many of those people. Most people I know have just really studied. Okay, I'm just going to draw a line like that. And I'm going to, um, out of my head, I'm going to figure, let's see. I'll put a cranium there and I'm going to work on a torso and I'm going to, I'm going to exaggerate it. I'm going to make it more push it because that 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 that's really what we do in animation for the most part so here I got I'm gonna give her big hips right there coming out there and I'm gonna narrow it down a little bit more side of the cranium there and look so far I'm just drawing uh, shapes even though I'm not drawing the shapes you know where it's connecting all the way I am thinking shapes here and then I'm gonna make a gesture for the leg and I'll put this leg out there and now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna build upon it I'm just going to start to think about the neck it's fitting into this rib cage i won't make this you know really exaggerated and uh distorted i'm gonna I'll be a little more realistic here so now i got this this shape i just draw this long cylinder it comes back there and the shoulder fits on there and this is you got to study the figure and I do recommend you do some study of the of anatomy it's just it, it's truly necessary especially when you're drawing out of your head okay so here we got this leg and now I'm gonna make her knees a little knocked the stomach comes here and then down under here this folds in there and bring the back so simplify that knee comes back there overlapping line there goes in front of this calf I want I can draw a circle there or keep it like so here I want to make sure that the knees I don't want this knee to be way down here and the way for me to find where the other knee is going to be placed I just draw a line from here to here it wouldn't go down there so it's a rhythmic line that helps me to find the landmark of it. Through here, I'm drawing through the figure, through the torso. There's a break in the knee there. 
and you'll note I had put this line down, but it doesn't mean that I have to follow that line. It's just something I can go by to where when I place this foot there. This is pretty much a straight on shot here. And something I do is for me to find uh, this little bit of a side note. Um, if you're drawing a woman and you got her breasts, here's the pit of the neck. I draw a triangle if it's straight on view. The thing to remember is the nipples are not directly placed in front. The nipples go off to the side a little bit. So I draw this triangle there and then I find that one there. So what I mean by that is, so on this one, we barely see it. This one, it would be over here. It's just the way they naturally fall. Same thing on men and the pe pecs. It's the same idea right there. And do think of, uh, when you're drawing women, think of it as, remember there's, they have pecs actually underneath the breast. So when you're drawing, it's the same idea for both male and female. It's just female have the fatty tissue that comes off So anyway, there's that same idea. So here's the overlapping line here of this arm comes off. It's in front of the rib cage right there. Come back here. There's a break here. Hands. I just put it a gesture in there like so I want to get this rhythm where it comes down and now this forearm is fitting on top and it overlaps there I'm having it come out towards us understand this if I wanted to I could also have the forearm go away and how I do that again is that overlapping line there and just for argument's sake let's just have it going away and this is elbows going away and then that hand is going away from us fingers are going away and what lets us know that is the overlapping lines this knee it is sort of distorted there and then the hip is up here the hip does not the leg does not go directly up. The hip is a bit higher. Keep this foot basically in profile. And then If you're gonna study the head all remember if you're gonna if you're gonna get really into figure drawing uh, you can spend study each part of the the human figure study how the head how it's constructed the basic uh, academic proportions after that then you can break the rules and exaggerate the forehead, 
the, the lower jaw, all of that. You can exaggerate it. But once you understand the basic formula for the construction of the head or any other part of the body, after that is when you can distort it. So we get back here. Hair, as we know, hair comes in very many different ways. And so here I've created, uh, not the best, but I've, I've created a figure in motion out of my head and it's pretty much how, how I approach it and then when I want to uh, create and I want to do things that are more exaggerated more uh, if I want to do something more cartoony honestly I do I don't it isn't much different Let, let's say that I come up with uh, I'm just gonna figure out a pose. I just simplify everything. So I'm going to come up. There's my line of action. I'm going to give her pretty narrow waistline there. Let me get rid of this. And you'll see, I'm just going to simplify everything here. And you want to put tilts, opposite tilts. Head's going to be coming that way, tilting down that way. Her long upper legs. A shorter, short, shorter lower legs. Just play around. Keep everything very simple. I did a tutorial on facial expressions. I'm using that exact formula here. Staying loose. And for cartooning, it, it, it's just not putting in every bump that anatomically is there.
and then I'll just flush it out. You don't want to be too quick to, well, it matters what kind of mood you're in, but uh, you want to keep working on it. Flush it out. Realize the drawing. And then if you see something that's off, like I do right now, I won't be too quick to accept it. And there we came up, uh, you know, again, out of your head, you know, and then from this pose, this is, I usually do a, a, a front pose, an easier pose in the beginning. And then from there, if I have a, a certain character that I like and I want to think about, putting, let's say, her into a, a different pose, you know, something where, uh, let's say that I take her and, you know, I'm, I'm doing this out of my head, so it's not going to be that easy, but I'll just, I'm thinking to myself, she'll, she'll be uh, reaching down for something. I'll look at her and just like I was doing before, I'm going to simplify everything. Rib cage, lower torso. Simplify the 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 legs. Make sure you want to make sure your characters are balanced. Uh, uh, don't want to if they if it looks off balance in your quick gesture drawing that's the time when to move it back a little bit maybe move this leg back a tiny bit I'm looking at her right now there's the gesture she's Reaching, grabbing hold, keep looking at her, uh, angle of the head, do I want it straight down like that? I could have it up like this, but I'm going to go with this one. This is showing me the tilt of the head. It's going to be a little bit higher here. And you see what I'm doing is I'm just roughing in the big shapes again. A little pinch it in there. And I do, I work, I work all over the figure. I don't just focus like on the arm and finish the arm. I'll, I'll work on the arm and then I'll come in and look at another part of the body.
And you can see, I'm a searcher. When I draw, I'm always searching. That's just my way. I truly admire the artists who can <laughs> just seem to put it down immediately. Show the other side of her hair that's in these two big balls. On this, I won't need to show her mouth. Straight. Show a little bit of the far leg. And I'll stop there. And then I'll get more and more into it. I'll, I'll, I'll study more and more her shapes, her proportions. And then if you want to, you can also, uh, you know, this is a, a very simplified cartoon character. You can also, if you want to make if you want to do it in different styles, let's say, you want to, uh, you know, there's so many styles out there on the internet, and you and, and you want to do something that's a, a little more angular, or something. Um, I'll I'll start. I'll I'll think in that way. I'll think this is round. The the formula for her is really round everything is basically round it, it, there's no hard uh corners you know uh, uh in her designs it, it's it's just rounder but it's the same thing you you'll you'll apply that to uh let, let's come up with something else i'll show you what i mean So now I'm going to draw a torso. I'm getting a little more graphic in the design of it. Understand, I am still drawing shapes. There's no difference. I'm still drawing shapes. It's just in a different design. And I'll play with the shapes, small feet. Um, maybe this time, instead of me having the lower, the smaller, uh, lower leg, let's see what happens. I'll draw in the big gesture of it right there. What happens if I 
make the upper leg shorter and the lower leg longer. And right there, there was a good example. Uh, let me go back. Okay. That's the break in the leg right there. It's off right there. I do that. They line up for me on just this standard standing pose. But we're going to now I'm still going to keep it in mind of, uh, you know, this design of her. And on this one, what should I do? I'll have her holding a plate. So here we got this pretty, it, it, it's a pretty abstract sort of design we got here as far as proportions and uh, the, the angles and everything, but it will work. Uh, I'll work, worry about the hair later. I'm going to give her a long chin. And now I'm starting to think about the forms that are going over the shapes. And then the leg is coming up there. We'll see a part of this leg coming in there. Uh, let me give her a little dress. Rhythm line from the neck to her breasts. sleeve, make her kind of exotic, give her earring, give her short cropped hair. give her boots and I've decided made her a little bit shrink her down a little bit give me room seeing how she's in boots give her high heels and her posture is just leaning forward this way She got some on the plate. I'll have her hair come out more. I look at it, and, and this will all change things. That was too exaggerated for my taste, so bring it down here, put a fold. Now I'll put that belt line right there.
And if I want to show more folds, I can show a fold right there. Coming off the back here, her dress maybe. Off like so. All I'm doing now is realizing the drawing a bit more. Oh, that was off. Make a definite statement with those boots. Belt. Her dark eyebrows. And so on. So there, there, there we got a completely different type of design than these two right here. But it's the same, the thing I want you to know, it's the same thing. I keep repeating myself. It's the same thing as uh, any drawing that I do. I just think of the shapes in a more graphic way, or I think of it in this more uh, round way. There, there's what I mean by that is you can just have shapes that become forms and then another form in front of it and and this is more of a organic I would say type of form come in there and then you get rid of this and this is a bit more organic the way and it's softer the way that it fits in to this form back here. I do the same thing like this. It's just a different design. It's a bit more uh, intense. Straight lines are a bit more intense. So this design here just has a little more intensity in, in her design. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, don't know much more what to say here. Uh, I truly hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.